Hello everybody, John here again, and uh, when we left off last time, we had created an icebreaker discussion, and then um, everyone was supposed to go in and um, add rubrics and uh, the student learning outcomes. So what we're going to do now is pick it up from where the discussion has been created. This is an assignment. So we're going to click here on the gray cloud to publish. It should go green when we do. Again, my my uh, mouse pad's acting up. Anyway, so it's published now. And um, if we go from here into student mode, so we click on settings here, and I've got the tab already open right here. We're going to pop over to this page, which is the settings page, and go to student view. And every class has a test student in there. So um, we're now in student view as test students. So we should be able to go to our modules page or else the assignments page. You can find them both in both places. And click on the icebreaker discussion which is due today and it's worth 10 points. So we're going to open that up and this is the icebreaker discussion here. The um, directions written by the teacher, 10 points, uh, but extra credit if you post to the Padlet word wall with an image of your animal. So right now I'm just, I've got the uh, text written up already, so we're going to come over here, select this, I'm a prepared student, this is the cooking show version of this, and put my response to the act, the assignment here. So it's all in there. I chose a borzoi. I mean the test student did. And then I hit post reply. And so um, the test student doesn't have an image, but here's the response that they, the test student wrote. So now if we leave student view, which is this blue button down here, click on that. And we leave student view. Then we should go back as a teacher and be able to find that if we go to our home page we should have um, it should show us that there is something to grade and right here we see grade icebreaker discussion so um, these are um, transitory little um, links that come up when there when you have correcting that needs to be done so just click on that link and it opens up in, um, this is called the speed grader. And um, so this is the student submission. And then um, let's look at the rubric we created for this. So it says, if organi organized well, four points. If spelled correctly, three. Gr grammar is two points. Informative is one. And extra credit is if they made a contribution to the Padlet wall. So I'm thinking um, we'll just say this student did well in all these little areas except the extra credit. And um, we'll save that. They got 10 out of 10. And then we can say um, there's still time to earn five points of extra credit if you post an image to the word wall. Something like that. Let's say, um, good job. Um, then submit the comment. And so that's pretty much um, all that there is to grading. And speed grading, say if you have a class of 10 or 15 students, um, you can go down to the next student. We can see here there's a student called RTC Life that has not submitted an assignment here. So what we might do for this student is say, um, there's still time to submit your assignment for credit. And just send them that, and then they will get that. They'll get a notice that their teacher's trying to reach them through Canvas. Um, and I guess we have a little bit more time. Uh, we might go back out. Let's see, this thing is sitting right on top of it. <laughs> Let's try to get out this way. We'll go back out to the discussion. And just a word about how to get around in grading. There's a grades tab here on the left. 
And this shows all the people in the class that you're looking at right now, which is different from the grades tab up here, which shows any classes that the person logged in, which is me, John Falconer, the teacher, any classes that I'm taking or that I'm teaching. So I would have access to any of those, the grades for any of those classes. So what we'd usually be using is this grades tab over here on the left. And we can see um, the students in this class, and that's just RTC Life and the test student. And then out here toward the end, we should have the assignment we just did, which was the icebreaker discussion. Now, sometimes you'll come in here and find, um, okay, say a uh, test student didn't do CPR in first aid terms. Um, if you press this little cloud, you can make a comment. And from here, you can see uh, there's a link to the speed grader. So that's a handy way to get to the speed grader if you need to um, get in and tell that student, um, please submit your CPR terms soon. We'll just say that. So this is one way to get back to the um, speed grader quickly. All right, and then um, I've got my uh, arrow keys covered over. And then when we go back out to the home, this is another uh, slightly quirky thing with Canvas. Even though I've graded this student already and it's done, it takes a while for this to catch up. So even if I uh, say, refresh the screen right now it won't go away and so that's just something that's quirky about canvas uh, right now but that's um, that's basically how you're going to be grading your projects